Okay, let's let's get this video over with. How do you respect the original in a remake? Well, you can't. At the end of the day, the ultimate sign of respect would be to just accept the original as a singular perfect work in no need of alteration. If respect is on some sort of gradient, I suppose you could say I respect 2001's Silent Hill 2 more than most then. More to the point though, even if a remake or reinterpretation of a work meets your own personal, abstract threshold of integrity or respect for its predecessor, that will only serve to validate you in the short term. At the time of writing this video, if I say The Little Mermaid, the vast majority of people probably picture the late 80s Disney animated musical and not the fairy tale written in 1837. In 1837, movies didn't exist and animation didn't exist. Copyright expires and the world changes, so don't be surprised if in a couple of centuries, the most well-known version of Silent Hill 2 isn't the 2001 PS2 game or the- Uh, that- I don't think so. This remake will be forgotten, just like any other fucking Flavor of the Month piece of shit. This was the year of Flavor of the Month games. Every fucking month this year, a game came out that Normies hyped up, played for like a week, and then forgot about. Trust me. You know, as much of a doomer as I am, I guarantee fucking to you, this shitty remake will be buried and forgotten. I say shitty, it's not that shitty, but you get the point. Like, it's shitty that it even exists, as he, I agree, as he says in the beginning of the video. The 2024 remake, but a version of Silent Hill 2 that isn't just not a video game, but may in fact be in a medium that doesn't even exist yet. I suppose glaring into the uncaring void of the future isn't quite as satisfying as the catharsis of complaining in the immediate present. I would know, I've ranted for longer than most about certain remakes, but I'm gonna refrain from taking a blowtorch to Silent Hill 2 Remake, even though it probably deserves it. In part because I've accepted the futility of railing against the infinite future, redoing everything that came before, but also just in this specific case, because the intention by those involved already seems so cynical that to try and judge the merit of any of this as art seems like a farce. Any studio that offers themselves up as the- Damn, you know, I, I, I might be blunt, and I prefer being blunt. Like, god damn, dude, it's not even art. He just straight up said, these remakes are not even fucking art. This is slop for the masses. 100% dude, you know? You know, I would put it way more blunt and more insulting than that, but like that that's the perfect level of condescension for all these fucking remake cocksucker people, dude. I love that shit. <laughs> that was good. That was good. All right, let's let's continue. <laughs> studio that offers themselves up as the ones to improve upon something as classic as Silent Hill 2, I can only imagine have to be driven by some level of presumption and hubris, and the bankrollers Konami have mostly abandoned the idea of hiring creative talents to come up with new ideas. Instead, they've decided to become almost a pure port and remake company, repackaging their back catalogue without even the veneer that it's some way to bring the stories of the past to the present in the case of its remakes, skipping straight to the numbered entries that they know have the most clamped. Out. That description of Konami sounds like the programming of an AI, and if SH2 Remake is to receive any praise, then there's no doubt in my mind a lot of gamers will be perfectly happy with AI being used to create whole games in the near future. And when it comes to remakes at least, I'm honestly prepared to just let them have that future. A limp regurgitation of something that came before, offering us little more than a thought experiment as to what something written in the language of the past might look like fed through the accepted language of the present. I actually don't know why we waste real human man-hours making this stuff. It doesn't seem like they're really needed until that new theoretical medium. We might as well let the computers turn out this kind of cultural slop. Judging by what I've seen, it seems a lot of people are already prepared for that future too. Type in a game in the words AI remake or something, and you'll find concept videos generated in AI with hundreds of thousands of views. Comments below in awe, saying it looks like exactly like what they'd want to see. Call me cynical, but I don't think the resistance against AI art can survive its results being appealing to so many people. So maybe remakes and AI are the perfect marriage. Let's just automate this recursive practice of redoing all the old games, and then have all the human creators make original products. 
That can end up being the good ending to all of this. In a world where we can't stop reimaginings, I would see this as a better option, so we can keep innovation trucking along, while selling people the basic modern conversions a lot of them seem to crave. After all, is there even a big difference between a human taking the original game and then mapping it onto the look of whatever the most current games look like, and a computer doing it? Well, the inevitability of remakes as the centuries roll on has caused me to not lose much sleep over the impact remakes have on the legacy of an original. That still doesn't alleviate my life in the present being overrun with this stuff at the cost. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to agree. I've basically hit that point as well, where it's like you realize that a shit ton of the people who were going to play this remake were never going to play the original. I mean, you'd basically have to put a gun to their head to actually play a game that's more than a decade old. So, I don't know. It's just disappointing when, you know, people out themselves, so obviously as shills or not fans or whatever, when they just accept this slop and pretend that it's awesome or whatever, you know, because it's like the vague memories they had when they were a child. You know, they weren't really a super fan of the game. Of whatever original game no they, they played it one time as a kid and they're gonna play it one time the remake as an adult and be like wow that's vaguely what i remember this is awesome it's like okay well how about you shut your fucking mouth the people who actually like the thing are talking but no you know they, they gotta come to you know videos like mine and dislike bomb and not even counter any of the points i made in the video no they'll just spurg out act like a retard because there's no shame anymore you know in a good world they'd be shamed be like this, you're a retard this is a retard comment stop speaking before you embarrass yourself further but no if people embarrass themselves in mass it's no longer embarrassing because it's a crowd of of spurgs like a pride parade right it's basically a pride parade of bad opinions so that's that's where we're at with with modern entertainment of something new. 200 years later in a new medium seems like a more reasonable time and place to reimagine something than what we do these days. Right now we're all being forced to live our life in this weird culture that loops every 20 years. There is a major difference between adaptations made centuries later and our present fast turnaround that's worth pointing out though. Nobody who's seen the 1989 Little Mermaid cartoon would claim to have an understanding of the 1837 fairy tale. Yet today, remakes do seem to be sold as a way to catch up on something missed. So if you play SH2 Remake, don't kid yourself into thinking you've experienced Silent Hill 2. If that's- Thank you, thank you! That's- uh, I can see why this got some dislikes now. Cause that absolutely triggers these fucking losers. I got- to play that- I'm gonna play that again. Yet today, remakes do seem to be sold as a way to catch up on something missed. So if you play SH2 Remake, don't kid yourself into thinking you've experienced Silent Hill 2. If that yeah, like, holy shit, tell that to everyone in these fucking normies, zoomers, whatever, who only play these remakes. Just fucking, oh my God, destroyed. Absolutely annihilated. <laughs> Again, this, see, this sounds like, you know... If I was less unhinged, what my videos would be like. Just fucking talk down to these motherfuckers. They're not worthy of your respect. 100%, man. 100%. Now, this is a good video. <laughs> Sounds at all offensive. I'm not sorry, because it's just a statement of fact. Violin scored tales yep, of how the game is same accessible effect. to you this minute unfortunately won't change that reality. Silent Hill 2 is a PS2 game, not an abstract concept that needs to be bent into a different shape for consumption because it's been a couple of decades. If you've seen videos or screenshots of PS2 Silent Hill 2 and were more interested in spending money to get a PS5 and the about five games that it has, instead of finding a way to play Not even, two, really. maybe you weren't as interested in playing it as you thought, which is fine. I'm not that desperate to read an 1837 fairy tale either, but I don't also think that a children's musical made 200 years later is a good substitute for whatever the intent of that old tale was. A Silent Hill 2 remake may look like a- He's probably trying to stay out of politics, but I was really hoping he would bring up the new mermaid in this discussion because it's truly fitting. I mean, it just, I mean, granted, the Silent Hill 2 remake's not nearly that bad. Like, it's not like they race swap James or something. But the point still stands that a lot of these modern remakes exist to, you know, basically piss in the fans' mouths, you know.
apocalyptic cringe, but even the odd tolerable big budget remake seem rather disposable and feel like they're keeping us walking in place. They not only ask us to pick apart the past to decide what was worthwhile, but they also ask us to canonize what being modern means, validating the notion that the only form big budget games can take now is one where they have an over the shoulder camera perspective. Just look at this awful gameplay. Aim and R1 to shoot by updating everything to that same model. When people talk about modernizing a game for the 2020s, that's all they really seem to be talking about. Being modern is this one perspective and control scheme all new major games are supposed to have for some reason. All this to say, I've accepted reality, but it hasn't made my dreams any less restless. And it would be nice to wake up and be somewhere different this time. Yep, good video. Straight to the point. Good level of condescension. Of course, you know, dislikes from Spurg Tards. I guess we'll read some comments. That's always fun. Interesting responses. I just wanted to point out I received an offer to be part of the marketing campaign for Silent Hill 2 Remake. I didn't. Big shock. I didn't. Uh, I turned it down because I didn't agree with the game. If I only cared about maximizing money, I would have taken their cash, and you'd have been hearing about how great the game is on this channel already. For obvious reasons, I'm more inclined to allow a sponsored segment for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, despite my stance on remakes in general. Those who know what happens in Final Fantasy VII Remake probably know why, as well as why Square Enix would want a recap video about the original game to prepare people for a remake at all. Yeah, I checked that out. He made, like, I guess some kind of recap video for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <clears throat> I I don't really care. I mean, I don't know if he really likes those remakes or not. I obviously am not a huge fan. But then again, I thought I thought the first part one of the remake had some merit. Rebirth does not. Rebirth was slop, pure utter slop. Okay. Oh, here we fucking go. Here we fu see. He's learning that he is normal normies. I don't. Are people brigading this? Hold on. Maybe I should make this bigger for those of you on mobile. No one cares, my dude. Your takes and everything you said is pretty damn cringy. Holy fuck. This is ninety four likes. Thank God that this is a thing right here. Well, hold on. We'll keep reading. Maybe you should learn to understand the things you speak about a bit. What the fuck? Un learn to understand the things you speak about a bit. Have self-awareness, retard. You don't understand the original games. That's the whole fucking point in the video, you goddamn entitled piece of shit. Fuck, fuck people like this, legitimately. Holy fuck, fuck you. Before you start blabbing off thinking you're making some kind of intelligence- This is 94 likes. Did this video get brigaded or something? It must have been, right? How the fuck does this keep happening? It only has 41,000 views. Maybe his- you know, some of his fans are just, I, I'm really trying hard not to say slurs, and I'm failing. I'm bailing. I want to say slur, because this is a guy who likes the taste of penis. We'll put it that. Uh, I, I guess Gaming Bridge Show has a lot of penis slurpers in his audience or something, because this is, you know, the video doesn't have enough views for it to be brigaded. Remakes let people from future generations enjoy games they can't play. They Do you have a PC that was made in the past 15 years? Are you fucking kidding? Again, the first response, emulators exist. Thank you. Show these normal, f normal silly billy retards that they're stupid. You're fucking stupid. It takes fucking five minutes to set up an emulator, you goddamn idiot. Oh, this, oh man, man, I, the, whoever the fuck, the, the, what pissed me off more than this comment is the 94 likes. 94 people agreed with this straight up retardation, straight up embarrassing idiocy. Uh, I guess Google is bugging out here because I can't read the rest, the show more button is not showing up, but I don't even care to read the rest of this anyway. They can't play on consoles that barely exist for them to buy anymore. Uh, yeah, okay, shut the fucking idiot normie. You don't even care. You don't even care. If you did care, you'd still have your PS2. And like I said, emulators. A PS2 emulator. I, I'm sure this guy wrote it. Maybe he wrote it on his phone. Who knows? But if he has some kind of, you know, desktop at home, I'm sure he could 
run Silent Hill 2. So people of the future can enjoy them. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck you. A, a fucking neutered, a raped version of the original vision. You fuck. The worst part is some of these people are lefties who claim to be, like, the people who love art and support it and think it's so important and think somehow in a, <laughs> in a socialist or communist regime that they'd be able to, you know, be a fucking artist. <laughs> No, you'd be working in the goddamn coal mines or whatever equivalent. <laughs> uh, fucking fantasies, dude. Anyway, whatever. Uh, gay fantasies aside that they have. Um, you say this, yet you don't even support artistic visions from real creators. You're totally fine. The thing is, if any indie dev, let's say an indie dev makes it big, and they sell their IP... You know, basically selling their soul to the devil. And five years later, the corporation makes a remake. And it's nothing like it. Let's say, like, let's use an extreme example. Celeste, right, the char main character is supposed to be trans. Let's say in the remake, the main character realizes that that was just mental illness. They take some TRT, they lift weights, and they realize, oh, I'm a real man, and all those people were pussies, Right? Oh, is are they not allowed to be mad? It's the same game, right? It's it, a new generation gets to play it. Uh, what if they didn't have a computer that could run Celeste? You fucking retards! God damn, have a shred of self awareness. A goddamn shred. You're not human. Not human. Okay. I'm very tempted to put this clip in the video. Very tempted because these remake fucks are stupid. I'm telling you, they're dumb. This is so, this is pissed me off on so many levels. It's so stupid. And this is a good response, you know, like I wouldn't be able to hold it in. But this right here, you know, this is a, a leveled, like, checkmate. Uh, you know, you got nothing to say this hard. Not every game emulates perfectly. A remake isn't perfect either. A remake isn't perfect. What, what the fuck is this argument? The remake changes shit. That's worse than the emulation. Considerably worse. Oh, the emulation. Oh, a texture might glitch out, and I might have to look up on the emulation wiki. Oh, no, I have to flip a setting. Help me, uh, Crimer man. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I hate these fucking people. I care... As do at least 14 other people to stop your childish tantrum. Thank you. Thank you, God. It even feels pathetic to read. Exactly. How did 94 people give this a like? 94. That's what, This looks like, a, you know, like a, a much smaller version of like the, the Twitter brigades that my videos get. But I'm wondering if it really is like people in his audience. I don't know. It's possible because I don't. Gaming Brit show. I don't remember him being very controversial. In fact, he's almost the opposite. Like he likes Resident Evil 6. Which, to me, is one of the worst games ever made. But he also likes Ratchet and Clank, so I, I guess that evens out. But <laughs> uh, the holy fuck. Anyway, oh, I'll read a few more comments, but I feel like I'm already like sufficiently angry from just one. Kind of surreal having lived through the original launch of games like Resident Evil 4 and Silent Hill 2, hearing people discuss and interact with them for like 8 to 10 years, then having the entire industry just return to them because everyone's so creatively bankrupt. There's a good one. There's a good one right there. I don't have anything against remakes as a concept, but nowadays people's obsession with wanting remakes of games nonstop is driving me crazy. Without they completely dismiss the originals as being outdated for not following modern game design trends that ultimately sands down many of the unique aspects of a game in favor of bland design decisions that have widespread appeal. Yep. 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 Okay, we should probably, we should get to the game. But that was a good video, very based. It's the latest Gaming Brit show vid. Send, send some love, some hard and cell loving. You know. Uh, it's, uh, be sure to mention poir in a con. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't say poir for no reason. <laughs> That's some of you guys, dude. That's some of you guys. Anyway, uh, but uh, yeah, fuck that cuckold who responded to him in the pinned comment.